Hello guys, what's up? Today we are going to do Marker Flip 2. So I've been working on this video for almost four months, probably closer to three months, but that's still a super long time. So yeah, throughout this version of the video, I am going to give you some explanations about the different markers and stuff because they're it's kind of complicated. Enjoy the video. FYI, <clears throat> um, whenever you see the marker upside down, because it's from a distance, you can't really see it, but it's actually landing on this tiny cap. Yes. Okay guys, this is the first cool thing in the video. So basically, this is the cap of another marker. This is a marker, obviously. So, to accomplish CUV, cap, which stands for cap on bottom, you just take another marker and then smoosh it in the marker with COB. This makes the bottom smaller, if you can see that. So that makes it harder and it also makes it ever so slightly taller. This is a skinny expo. The bottom is ever so slightly smaller than the expo cap. Um, it's also harder because it is taller. so quick so yeah this is a marker on marker stop um by the way if you're wondering why i look so short it's because of my on my knees so this is the highlighter with its beautiful highlighter cap the cap only has a really small margin i guess to land on because i don't know if you can see that but they have like little edges the cap has little edges couldn't find this video, so just wanted to tell you, highlighter tip, which is what you just saw flipped, is a bit harder than a expo cap. I got it! I got it! Yes! Okay, for this shot, it's highlighter bottom on Crayola bottom. Sounds like gibberish, but this is a highlighter. This is a Crayola marker. Crayola marker has a kind of small bottom, and the highlighter has a really big one. So I flipped this marker on to here, and the highlighter has these little edges, just like the cap. I don't know if you can see that, but <clears throat> it makes it so that it can't slide off as easy. Oh yeah, also check out Unreal Vibe. He is a marker flipper and a bottle flipper, and pretty much does everything I do. So if you like my stuff, you're bound to like his. He also has a second shadow where he only does marker flips. It's called Ben Flips. Check it out. I'm not putting it. In. Okay, so this is the Crayola tip. It is a bit easier than the Expo cap. So you can see it's shorter. And also the tip is bigger than the cap of this one. This comes from a Crayola marker, like you saw earlier. You just take the tip out. <clears throat> yeah, if you try really hard, you can actually shove the Crayola tip into the Expo cap. Yeah, that's a Crayola tip. <gasps> just setting up the camera and I got a full three, no way. shot I have my expo cap I'm gonna be flipping it back to back which basically means two in a row and it's gonna be full flip as you saw from full yeah enjoy the shot okay 
makes this shot. It's just a full flip tip. Tip is ever so slightly harder than a cap. Um, it isn't as hard as a highlighter tip, which you saw a while ago. If you're asking why the highlighter tip came before the tip, because usually I go and order like the hardest shots, it's because I'm lazy. Okay, editor note number three, um, that shot was just my brother, he did a half flip cap and the cap was empty so it was really light. He didn't want his face to be showed and he told me to put emojis over it, so that's exactly what I did. Sorry I didn't record this, but I'll just explain it right now. A highlighter cap is... Just about as hard, maybe a little bit easier than COB. Yes! I got back to back 38 times, if you can see that. Okay, so for that shot, I did three in a row, half empty caps. So I did three in a row, half flip caps, and the marker is empty. I had to get two in a row 38 times before I got three in a row, which is a whole crud ton. So that shot introduced a new marker. It is this marker. Um, it kind of has like a hollow bottom, I guess. It isn't actually on the cap. It's just supporting the sides. shot of video it was a full flip five stack this is a five stack compared to me it is pretty tall marker flippers actually have a rule that's it can't be half empty or more than that means that for my five stack we'll use that as an example no more than two of the markers can be empty there's only one exception to that rule and that is for a Tuesday. You can have one of them empty if you want. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe by clicking over here because my knees are starting to hurt from kneeling down in this position for so long. And click over here if you want to see it without all my talking stuff. So yeah, like, subscribe, share with friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye!